Hello and welcome to my channel Bit by Curiosity. In today's video, we will learn about creating data model, slicers, and how we can make interactive dashboards using the same. So let's begin. Let's have a look at the final dashboard that we are trying to build. Here, I have position names. Now, if I want to filter my entire data with respect to one particular position, say full stack developer, I will click here in my slicer and my entire data refreshes as per this particular position. Now, let me add one more position, DevOps engineer. So now, my dashboard is reflecting value as per two positions. If I want to see all, I will click on clear filter. So for this dashboard, I will create slicers on position name, position level and recruiter name. If you want to add more slicers, you can do so once you understand the basics. Now let's get back to our dashboard that we were working on. Now it is very simple to insert a slicer. Let me select the first pivot table that we have made in the series. Click on any cell within the pivot table range. Go to insert and click on slicer. Now we can see the table position details. Let's say we want to filter our data position name wise. So select position name and click on OK. Let's select one position and check if our data is reflecting these changes. Yes, it is. If we have to connect our slicer to multiple pivot tables, then we will go to our slicer, right click, report connections, click on our pivot table time to fill and click on OK. So now let's select a position and check if the data is reflecting correctly. Yes, this data is also reflecting correctly. Both the pivot tables are changing as per our filter. If we are referring to one data set, using slicer is super simple. All we had to do was make a pivot table, insert a slicer and make connections to multiple pivot tables. However, what if we have multiple data sets? Let's understand with an example. We will have a look at our next pivot table, which is sourcing mix. Our previous two pivot tables were derived from position details table. However, the next table sourcing mix is derived from our other table candidate details. So to make our slicer work on this pivot table as well, we will have to explain it to Excel how these two data sets are connected. Let's see how we can go about it. First step is to create a new table with unique list of values. For example, we need a slicer with position name. I will select all position name from our position details table, copy it and paste it in a new sheet. Let me remove duplicates to make sure one position name appears only once. Second step is to connect it to a table and name the table as position name. Now, since I have two more slicers, one of level and one of recruiter name, I am repeating the same process for level and recruiter. Copy all levels, paste it over here, remove duplicates and convert this to a table and name this table as level. Same process for recruiter as well. Now, third step is simple. We will form connections. What we will do is connect position details to this new table that we have created. To form connections, go to data, data tools, relationships, new, 
select table 1 which is position details and this needs to be connected with another table which is position name with a column which is common in both the tables which is position name. Let me select in column and related column position name. Click on OK. Similarly, for candidate details table, we will repeat the same process. Make new connection, select table candidate details, column position name, related table is position name, column position name. We will repeat this process for level as well. However, first let's have a look at our data model. Go to data, data tools, manage data model, go to view and select diagram view. Now see how both our table position details and candidate details are connected via our new table position name. I will repeat the entire process for level. However, recruiter name slicer will be covered in our next video since that is also associated with pictures. Let's have a look at the diagram view. And yes, this is also connected. Let's refresh all the pivot tables first and create a new slicer. Now we are able to report connections to all of our pivot tables. Now let's select one value in our slicer. And all our values in pivot tables are refreshed as per our selection. Let's insert second slicer which is level and make all the connections. I will copy and paste both the slicers in our dashboard. I'll do some formatting. And our interactive dashboard is ready. So that's it for this video. In my next video, I will be covering how to display pictures using slicers. If you liked my video, do click on the like button and subscribe my channel. Do share your comments on which Excel formula or problem statements I should cover in my next video. Stay safe, keep learning and bye bye for now.